I'm Dr. Nicole Anderson, and I'm going to show you how to use this Hypersphere Hyper Ice Vibrating Ball to release your lower body. And by the way, releasing your lower body will also help to release your neck, shoulders, and back. And that's because everything's connected. So it's an indirect way to release your neck, shoulders, and back. If you don't believe me, try turning your head, try bending your back, stand up, bend. Check it out and then do this and then see how much looser you'll feel. It's pretty cool. All right, so what I found is actually the lowest level of vibration that you can use. If you wanna release your tissue, putting it on a lower level is gonna help with releasing rather than the super high level. So the, the higher level vibration is more for activation right before a workout and the lower level vibration is more to release stuck stress from a workout, stuck connective tissue from a workout. Both increase blood flow, but if you want to do this after a workout, I would recommend putting it on level one. All right, so the first one that we'll do is you can lay on your back. You can have a pillow under your head if you want. You can do this in bed and then it vibrates the whole bed, which is great. You get more vibration that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it, like we're gonna lay an egg <laughs> and so you just put it at the base of your tailbone um, and make sure your pelvis is resting all the way on the ground. Then you're just going to hang out here for about a minute and let it vibe. You don't really need to do longer than a minute for each thing. And it takes about 10 minutes to get through this whole sequence. Again, if you're doing this in bed, it's going to help your whole body receive more vibration. So it's actually great, especially if you have an inner spring mattress. If you've got a mattress that's got springs in it, then it's really, really good. All right, so then next we're gonna take the ball and we're gonna put it right at your upper part of your thigh, right where your butt meets your thigh. And you can just kind of move your leg in and out here so it gets different parts. Nice and slow and easy. Don't move it fast, okay? See how slow I'm moving mine? Now, um, if you have pain right in your pelvis or hips, then I would recommend actually starting further away. If you have pain in your back, I would recommend starting further away. I would start down at your feet and work your way up. So do this whole math the opposite way that I'm teaching it. In general, if you have a painful area, you don't want to put vibration right on it. You want to do vibration far away from the area and then sneak up on it. And your body's going to respond better if you do it that way. All right, and then after you kind of move your leg in and out a little bit, then you can just leave it on there. And just let yourself sink into the floor or the bed and just imagine letting go. And just let your body soften and let that vibration just flow through your body. Because it's, it's going beyond just right where it's at. All right, then we're going to move it to the other leg. So if you start to feel itching, um, then you've had the ball there too long. The vibration's been on that area too long if you've got itching going on. That's just your muscles, your nervous system way of telling you it's had enough, it's had too much. There is such a thing as too much vibration, for sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna move my leg a little bit here so I get the vibration on different parts. Just nice and easy. So the way I'm moving my leg is I'm going toes in as I move my leg in, toes out as I move my leg out, just kind of sweeping slowly like that. Okay. And a good spot to have the ball rest is actually on the outer side of the thigh, right where the butt meets the thigh, more on the outside, okay? And the reason for that is that's right where your sciatic nerve comes out and it's an area that a lot of times there can be a lot of fascia tightness that could actually cause um, stiffness down your leg or even sciatic type symptoms. So releasing this area can be really helpful to prevent sciatic problems and also just to help your whole, your back and your legs feel looser. Because you're releasing the fascia right around this nerve that runs from your back down into your foot. So it's gonna help release your whole leg and back. All right, now we're gonna move the ball down to the middle of the hamstring. We're just gonna sweep 
a little bit here, same thing, sweeping in with the toes in, out, out as you go out, toes in as you go in, toes out as you go out, okay? And then a common spot that really helps to release the hips and back is on the outside of the thigh, right about halfway down, okay? So that's where you wanna rest the ball, or rest your leg on the ball, and you're just gonna let, just stay still and breathe and just let it vibe, let it do its thing. You can hang out here for about 30 seconds. If you have a really big, thick thigh, then you might, you probably wanna do it for a minute. I'm small, so I don't have to do it for as long. Okay, I'm gonna switch it over. Do a little bit of that sweeping in and out. So toes out as you move your leg out, toes in as you move your leg in. Okay, and then just rest your leg on the ball and just slowly let it release. Now, one thing that's uh, really important with this is not to push through pain. If there's a lot of pain as you're vibrating, then it might not be a good idea for you to do right now. So definitely check with your physical therapist about that. All right, now you have a, a couple options. You can put the ball right on your calf like this, all right? Um, and that's not gonna be as good because now you have force pushing down on something when you're trying to loosen layers with vibration, right? So it's better if we can not have force pushing down on it. So if we can put the ball kind of against your calf and then the front of your thigh like this. And then just lay on your side. I have it backwards, whoops. <laughs> so we're gonna do it this way. So your top leg is gonna be this way and then your bottom leg is gonna be straight. And I have the ball located at the front of my thigh here, just above my knee. And then I'm just gonna put my leg in front of the ball like this and take it easy and just breathe and think of letting go. And I'm not squishing the ball. I'm just lightly letting it rest there. And you can move the ball up a little higher on the thigh. And you can move it up higher on the calf. You can even have the ball resting so that it's partly on the back of your thigh on the left and on the back of the calf on the left kind of in the crook of your knee, and then it's also against your thigh on the right. So you're getting a bunch of different spots all at once. And just think of letting go. Take a couple of easy breaths here. Just letting that vibration move throughout your body. This will actually, this position and where the vibration is, it'll help release your back, your neck, shoulders, I like to rest my thigh on the ball like this. So it's just above my knee. Just think of letting go. And see, I've got my hand here. So I'm kind of putting a little bit of weight through my hand to support me so it's not all on the ball. And you can move the ball up your leg with this and vibe different areas. And what's nice about doing it this way is this position actually helps to release your back with the vibration going. Okay, and you can get the ball to different parts of your thigh by how you rotate your leg. And just the key with this is be slow, don't be quick. Let the vibration hang out for a little bit while you take a breath or two in different spots. If you move too fast, it doesn't give the vibra vibration a chance to have as much of an effect. Move it all the way to the upper part of the thigh and kind of lay part way down toward the floor with this. And just take a couple breaths here. So you can, it can be effective to do this um, with uh, just how quick we did it right there.
So just a few breaths at each spot with the ball, one to two breaths. So now what I've got is I've got the ball on the front of my thigh. Uh, I'm laying on my left side. It's on the front of the thigh, just above the knee on the left. And then it's uh, right behind my calf, just above my ankle on the right. Obviously you can rest your head on a pillow if you want. And if you rotate your top arm back like this, that's gonna open up your spine. Don't force anything, keep it easy. You'll find after doing vibration, a lot of times you just feel even more like clear in your mind. Uh, it just, it helps free up all the tight areas of fascia that are squeezing on your head and and interfering with blood flow to your brain. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna move the ball up. So now it's in the upper part of the, like middle part of the calf, middle part of the thigh. Oh, my ball turned off. It turns off after 10 minutes, so we're almost done, but turn it back on just to finish up here. So a couple breaths here, just thinking of letting go, allowing yourself to let go. Okay, so then now we're gonna move the ball up a little higher on the thigh, and it's gonna be in the crook of your leg on the right. So it's kind of resting behind the knee, it's on the upper part of the calf, and it's on the upper part of the thigh of the other leg. And I've got my top arm rotated back. Breathe. Thinking of letting go. And feel free to kind of move here if you feel like moving. That's just your body wanting to release. You don't have to stay locked into this position. So let that release happen by moving a little bit. All right, then we're gonna put the ball above the knee on the inner thigh. And put your hand down to kind of counterweight, counterbalance. And just take a few breaths here. This position, again, this, this position helps to release your back and your hip. It's not just about where the vibration is, it's also about the positioning that allows the vibration to flow through your body and release areas of your body. Because if I was laying, if I wanted to release my inner thigh um, and I was laying this way it would still be good with the ball in between that's one way to do it but your hips the hip joint is closed and the vibration can't flow through your body as well as if you had had it here okay this opens up the hip joint so now it can flow through the hip and into the lower back it's not wrong to do it the other way it's just you might get more out of it by doing it this way so if you are on a time crunch this is the way i would do it Okay, so I'm just moving the ball up um, to like different parts of the thigh, working my way up and noticing any areas that when I rest the ball on it, it feels like it's releasing something else. So like right now, where I have the ball on my thigh, it feels like it's releasing my back, my neck, down by my knee, which totally makes sense by the way, because your fascia is interconnected throughout your whole body. And the inner thigh especially is really connected to a lot of um, areas of the body. So tension in the inner thigh is gonna cause stiffness and pain in your knees, your hips, your back, your shoulders, your jaw, your neck, and even your feet. And so you can just leave it there for 30 seconds to a minute if you want. Um, if you're really a big person, a minute, smaller people, probably 15, 30 seconds. You can also count breaths. Just do a few breaths. Um, by doing just a few breaths and getting to multiple areas, that can be a really time efficient way to do it. And you can, I'm taking longer than 10 minutes. And if you just do each spot for like three breaths, that's a way to get through a bunch of stuff quickly. That's still going to be beneficial, very beneficial. All right. So then we're going to put our feet on it. Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> I love it on my feet. And 
resting the, the ball on your resting your feet on the ball is going to help release everything. It's going to help release your legs, your hips, your neck, shoulders, everything on the back of your body, especially, and of course your feet. Make sure you get it on those toes, on the foot pad. Get on the arch. Just take a few breaths here, just thinking of letting go. Let your body sink into the floor or the bed. Switch legs. Okay, and we're just kind of moving it around. So common areas where stuck stress lives, where tension lives is the arch, down on along the foot pad, right along your toes. So we just want to release all of those areas by just moving the ball nice and slow. If you move too fast, the vibration is not going to be able to sink in as much. So just move it slow. Move it along your arch. Let it rest right at the front of the heel. There's different balls you can use. My favorite is this hypersphere ball. And then for more sensitive systems, there's a ball made by Vulcan brand uh, that is good. So we have it on our website, what to get. Make sure you get it on your toes here. One thing that I noticed too is if I'm sitting at my desk, I'll, I can vibrate my feet while I'm doing work at, at my desk, even when I'm standing. I have a sit-stand station. Um, and you, if the ball is big enough, if you have this hypersphere ball, you can do both feet at once too. So just showing you some different options. You can do a couple minutes on the feet each if you want. All right, and then that's the whole lower body sequence. Now, if uh, if your spine, if it's if you don't have a current back pain problem that is more on the moderate to severe side, you can move the ball up and put it in your hip area, and you can see I'm kind of tilted away, and I've got my hips opened up. Okay, so this looks like that. I've got it right in that piriformis area, right behind the hip bone. And I'm just taking a breath, releasing. If you have current pain in your hip and your back, you may want, you, you probably should check with uh, your physical therapist before you do this directly to an area that has pain because it might not be the right thing for you right now. So taking some nice easy breaths. You definitely don't want to do vibration on an area that you recently strained. You should wait at least 10 days before you do vibration on that type of area, 10 to 14 days. Some nice easy breaths. You can do vibration around the area, further away from the area, but not right on it. Do about three breaths here. Now back pain is often caused by uh, trigger points in your gluteus medius, which is right on the ridge of the pelvis. So you can rest the ball right in there to release your lower back. And this will release the neck too. A few breaths. And then do the other side. So it's right on the ridge just below the top of your pelvis bone, which is if you rest your hands on your hips, it's going to be just below that. And we have a you, we have a YouTube video on other ways to release this as well that can help lower back stiffness or pain. Okay, and then the last thing would be to actually rest it above the iliac crest, um, right in the soft stuff between your top of your pelvis and your rib cage and just let that vibe and just breathe and think of letting go. You can move your head a little bit, your arms, you, you might just feel like doing that as things are releasing. So if you're a person with a lot of muscle mass, you might want to stay here for 
longer period of time, like 30, 45 seconds to a minute. Smaller people don't need to stay as long. And you can get creative. Like right now, I just bumped my arm right up next to the ball, so it's releasing my forearm at the same time. Two for one. <laughs> you just breathe and think of letting go. Also, if an area is more stiff, you might need to stay a little longer. Like my left side's a little stiff right now, so I'm just gonna stay here a little bit longer and let it loosen up. There it goes. The more in tune with your body you get, the more you'll start to notice when things are loosening up. All right, so you'll just kind of feel as it releases like uh, a, um, a sense of like release or relaxation that happens. All right, so turn off the ball, you have to hold it down until it lets go <laughs> and all the lights turn off. So that's how to do the lower body vibration sequence. And it took about 20 minutes to take you through the whole thing, but it takes less time when we're not having to talk through it as much. And make sure to email us or comment below or uh, text us or call if you have any questions about this.